how to build pretty good monorails in Juego Fortnite, going to and fro and building in different sizes. In this case, double wide. The first step, build to Narnia. I'm using the 2x16s and going as far as I can. I make it from the Frostlands all the way to Dry Valley because my seat allows it. At the end of it, try and build a platform beneath you to stand on and then use stairs to go one level lower and build more big platforms to stand on to look at the undercarriage. And if I'm in sandbox, I'm gonna go ahead and fly. Building the 4x4 to start out with in the center of the 2x16. I seen as such. And then snap a dynamic foundation in the center of that. I'll tell you like how to do that at the bottom of your screen. It says snap on or something like that. And then use the 2x16s and snap them onto the 4x4 in the very center. And do not move them. Keep them right next to it. And put two on each side. And once you're done with that, which takes me a year and a day, oh my lord. Go ahead and break the center piece using your hands. A pickaxe will break the railing instantly. Unless you take precautions, that could be disastrous. Now we place the bottom dynamic foundation to make a little sandwich. Line it up however you can. This is, how, this is why I do it. Once done, you can do a few things. Add your switches, your activation switch. Add your thrusters. And add chests. But the more weight you add, the more thrusters you'll need to go faster. If you want to build wider, go ahead and place a bunch of 4x16s as a track. And then place down a 4x16 to start your build. Then grab a dynamic foundation, snap it to center again, and go back to 4x16s and place them on the sides. In this case, I'll into the brown block beneath. Go one outward after you snap it to the middle on both sides. And then I'm going to do two. We're done with that. Then go ahead and swap to your hand if you can and break the center block holding it up. Then go underneath and place your dynamic foundation flush. Now you can add your activation switch, your thrusters. We're fine. And it doesn't tip over. You would think it would, but I think it's just so wide that maybe it can tip. It's just even putting like a single chest like this, which are heavy, on the very outside. What the? How did, even, how did that even happen? Well, it's on the very edge. And we're not tipping. I do multiple a tip. How is that? How is that happening? Can we? Can we get it? <laughs> Be careful. It's not tipping. I wouldn't do this because it goes slower. You can also add balloons to the blue circles if you really want to. I don't think you need to and it kind of just makes it look goofy, but it might make it glide better. I don't know. Shush in the way. You get the concept though. Add balloons if you want. Go crazy. The most reliable way to go to and fro is to build a separate monorail facing that direction and you just push on each other last time i did this with a different build it broke but if this is the exact build it doesn't break and you can go forward and backwards you will need more thrusters to go faster and you can add more you can go ahead and add a bunch more if you really want to you can add four right here you could technically build it out like outwards like this center block right here you could build it outwards like that but in my case i have a couple of railings, so I can't exactly do that. But this seems to be pretty sturdy. I don't know exactly how much thrusters it can handle, but it handles this just fine, he said. Before, that sound meant death. It meant your tires broke. It meant the thrusters are in Narnia. We got all thrusters accounted for. We got the four on each side in the middle and the two big ones on the top and the bottom. If you're trying to make the double wide, go ahead and place 16 by 16s next to each other going a long distance. And then get a 4x4, place it on the edge, one more, and then get you a different color brick to know what the heck you're looking at. Place it on the side, and that's now the middle. Break the side bricks. Then swap to dynamic foundation and place it connected to the brick you placed last. And put two more foundations on either side of the initial one. Then go ahead and swap off to either flooring or you could just use foundations. I'm going to use flooring. See what happens. Yeah, snap onto the side. Go one over. And do the same on the other side. Sna wait. Make sure it's flush, though. Snap on, one over. And add two of these. Go ahead and place the other foundations. Flush. Boom. Nice. And then... Boom. You can break this now if you want. It moved. What the heck? Place on my switch. Oh, what you could do 
Okay. You can keep it like this, but it'll be more weight. You can go ahead and reduce the weight right now by doing your flooring and using a 12 by 2. You place it on the very edge, go over 4, place it down. Well, place it down. And you don't have to put them on both sides, but I'm going to just because why not? Like got desynced, I guess. And now break the center. And now it weighs less than it did before. It'll probably make more noise though, which is the downside. Go ahead and place your thruster on whatever side you want to. The middles, doesn't matter. And then now for thrusters. Uh, we'll do that. That. Bunch of small ones. This is where I get a little, uh, optismal with the placings. Yeah, this one makes the most noise, for sure. And just for good measure... At a certain point, it won't let you place any more. If that happens, you can go ahead and activate it. And usually, it'll let you place more. This one makes the most noise, for sure. Alright, so we have a few, few slushers. Does it hit the side? Hey! It didn't break. I mean, it broke that, but it's still in one piece, and we had a full-on side collision. We got side swiped. Made in Texas. And again, we had that sound, and I think everything's still here. We're good. And the break job is crazy. Saved it. And if you want, go ahead and add foundations at the bottom to have space for even more thrusters. Only you can stop railway collapses. To do so, build two railways that connect at the end and the beginning so that when you break a piece, only one breaks. This could have been a lot better, but it could have been a lot worse had I not had some other connecting pieces. Also, for some reason, certain things weigh more than others. Rustic ground weighs more than wood and concrete, and wood and concrete weigh the same. It's kind of strange. I don't suggest doing this. The whole having forward and backward thrusters on the same platform, it doesn't work out. It, it never works out, bro. I just yard sell the motor. It's gone. And I will be trying to find, I will find out how to turn using the today's method. I can turn on tires, kind of, but if I could find a way to turn and have it be connected to the bottom, I wouldn't fall off. Which I'm about to. Right now. Yeah. Anyway, if the vid helped you, leave a like, a comment, maybe share it, and follow the channel if you want. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Peace.